So the book we're going to talk about today is Boxers and Saints by Jean Luen Young. It's a manga book, amongst other things, but it's also a historical fiction book based on the true events of the Civil War that occurred in China between the Chinese and the Catholic missionaries and those that they had converted to Catholicism. So, it begins with Little Bo, who is the smallest of his family and the youngest, so of course he gets picked on. And he is in love with the Chinese opera, which is all about the gods and goddesses. And he detests his work. So he spends most of the time, instead of working, um, daydreaming about the Chinese opera and the gods and goddesses. Eventually, um, as it comes, the war reaches his village. One day, a Chinese missionary comes into his village. One day, when Red Lantern comes through the village, so he stays in the village and starts helping everyone and starts practicing his kung fu in front of everyone, and all of the men of the village decide that this is something they want to learn from Red Lantern. So he goes and asks Red Lantern to teach him, but his brothers kind of make fun of him and kick him out, and the men of the village say he's too little and they won't let him learn Kung Fu, but eventually Bo actually goes to Red Lantern at night, and Red Lantern kind of mentors him and teaches him Kung Fu at night while everybody else is asleep, until one day Red Lantern and all of the older men go off to fight a battle that has come close to their village now um, for the war. So, and then this is when um, Bo wants to go, but he, and Red Lantern actually sends him on a mission where he meets Master Big Belly, which actually teaches him a spell to make him a better fighter. Little Bo actually becomes the leader, and they make a new brotherhood and have their own kung fu with Master Big Belly's spell that helps them, and they don't know what's going on at first. But through the books, you can see it actually turns them into the gods and goddesses that Little Bo was so enamored with in the Chinese opera. So then they fight as these gods and goddesses and are powerful and you get all of these action-packed battle scenes. And they are just decimating the saints and the Christians, the Catholic Christians that they come in contact with. And it ends the first book, The Side of the Boxer's Story, ends when they get to Peking and we find out how his and <clears throat> four girls' fates are intertwined just as it was on the very first couple of pages of the book where we see that somehow their fates are going to be intertwined and we see it in Peking. So that brings us to the second book in this companion set called The Saints, which is the story of Four Girl. And Four Girl is a Chinese girl. It starts out when she's eight years old. And her story is about how she is called the devil girl her whole life. And so she grows up and runs away from home. So as Four Girl goes to this Chinese acupuncturist who has converted to Catholicism already, he realizes that you know she's not really a devil. She just doesn't have that much attention. So he asks, you know, he starts speaking to her about Christ. She asks about his um, crucifix that hangs behind him, and she thinks that the Catholics are the devil because that's what everybody calls them—that they're the devil and they're evil. And so she thinks that this is who she needs to be joined up with because everyone at home keeps calling her the devil girl and four girls. And the acupuncturist actually gets her in touch with um, Brother Bay, which is the same Catholic missionary that actually causes the whole confrontation in Little Bo's village. And as she grows older and we see a little bit more, her short her story is a lot shorter, but as she gets older, we see that she really does get, she becomes baptized in the Catholic faith. She doesn't completely understand it, but she is faithful to the Catholic faith. And we also find at the end how her and Little Bo's fates are intertwined, but if you want to know how their fates are intertwined, then you will have to read the stories. 
hopefully you will go check this book out at our public library okay and if you need a link click the link below which will take you directly to our pines catalog